Hello, everybody. Robert here. We're back with our Bridget training and in our project. Uh, we did our bathroom now. Well, let's do the, the, the kitchen. I'm going to show you how these families are going to work in 2023 a little differently. So uh, we've got our break room area here. So what we like to do here is add uh, cabinets and casework. So normally what happens is we would go into insert here. Hello, family. Uh oh, wrong directory. Okay, keep forgetting that. I'm gonna load from the cloud. Okay, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna go to all results, and then what happens here? We need to go to casework, and then here you'll find all that you need. So for this, I got. I'm gonna use the uh, the four drawer. It's the double, you know, the base cabinets here, and then all of your, let me go back here, and then all of your wall cabinets here. Okay, so we pulled a couple of these out already, and we're going to go ahead and put them in, and we're going to create an elevation for our break room. So basically here, it's pretty simple. We'll go to architecture, component, place some component. Okay, I want to go and find my four drawer, I think it's in here, base cabinet, okay, there it is, this one there, we'll just place it right there for now, and then we had another one here, uh, it was the, I'm trying to remember, Double door sink unit. That will be next. So I want to go here. Um, I'm going with the four drawer now for this. This probably should have went first. Gosh. So here they are all are here. So I'm going to take the 24 inch and place it there. Now, one thing you got to remember, these flip arrows, and we don't know what's going on here at all. So what I always like to do, you can take, you can select these guys and play with them. Like that. See, this is the front. So these need to be rotated. So what I'll do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to just go to my view elevation. And you're going to need it anyway, so I'll just pop it right there. As you can see, it just pops around. You can place it in here and then select what view you want. Okay. So now let's pop this view open to see what's going on here. Okay, so these are not in right. So I'll go back to my level one and I'll get these rotated in correctly. Just straightforward. We've done this before, I know. Um, just want to show you a few little things. Yeah, that's the front of that one. And let's rotate this 90 degrees for a space bar. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. It's just a simple little thing we're going to do here and then we need that uh that sink unit now so architecture component this component uh, down here there we go we're gonna have a 48 inch here for our sink unit hopefully we got the front no we don't so we select it that and I'll align it to this wall here. Okay, now we need a refrigerator. So this is going to be a simple little thing. Uh, I'll go to architecture component, place component, and I'm going to just go here. I'm going to. I figured out how to use this thing. 
We'll go with the, huh, do we want to be a left hand or a right hand? I think we want to go with the right handed uh, 35 by 32, right here. Put it there. Okay. So now I'm going to rotate these guys here. And let's go look at our elevation and see where we at. Okay, Fred, just backwards. <laughs> so I'll just rotate that guy. Unfortunately, we don't have the. Okay, that, that one, 180. Yes. Okay, move them over. Now let's go peep at the elevation. Actually, we kind of know what's going on. Let's just get the top cabinets in here. Uh, so, remove component, place component. Upper wall cabinet, we want to go with the 48 inch, I think. Yep. We're going to drop two of them in here, one there, and one there. Then we will need to get our countertop here for our sink. Uh, countertop, there we go. Okay. It is. So we're going to take this guy and just set it right here. Okay, now that's our countertop, and then uh, let's place our sink in. And now we need an MEP sink because we're going to do plumbing. So, how to get that, you will go into your insert tab here again. And uh, families, and then I want to go to plumbing. So this would be, if I'll say all results, it would be down under MEP. Uh, so let me do with that. <laughs> go to plumbing. And then MEP fixtures. So uh, double sink, we want sinks. Uh, and here are all our sinks. So we want this guy right here. Want to load him. Okay, and then I want to go in here and I want to place it. Let's just be able to check to place component here. And there's our sink. So this has got to be placed on a face, and that face is going to be our. Well, I think this has got to be public too. <laughs> uh, public, because this is a commercial building. There it is. So we'll rotate this guy around. And then, uh oh. There we go. We'll place it right there. And then we'll go have a look at our elevation. Okay, sink's missing. Maybe. Okay, so what I've got going here, let's go back into this view. I think I'm on the wrong face or something. Let me look at this in wireframe. No, apparently not. That's just how that looks. Okay, so now we've got our elevation going here. And. I'm going to put this in shaded view. And here we have, our, we've got our cabinets. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I probably should place, put a new one in there, but I don't have time. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go into our object styles. We're going to the Manage tab. And we're going to object styles, this little button here. And where it says casework, we'll expand that. And where it says elevation swing, here, we'll select it and do the little pull down, and we'll go to dash line one eighth of an inch. Uh, no, I would say hit one eighth. Yeah, and then apply. Okay, so there we have our dash line, so you can see your swing. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Just want to show this quick video how we want to do our elevations and rivets. So project's going along pretty good. So there's our break room and there's our elevation marker. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. I'll see you in the next videos like this every day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Be safe.